Air Force One is the call sign assigned to any aircraft transporting the US president. Interestingly, Raymond Lowy, best renowned for his work on the Coca-Cola bottle, designed the coloring of these planes, which hasn't altered since 1962. The aircraft used to transport the American president is a modified Boeing 747-200B, designated VC-25A. Furthermore, in cases where the destination airport is too tiny, there is the Boeing 757-200, also referred to as the Boeing C-32 in its presidential version. The president and his team have access to computer and phone communication networks, just like in action movie depictions. With enough food on board, the VC-25A can carry up to 70 passengers and fly for several days. Moreover, it is capable of air refueling. The shelters from Opidum combine comfort, quality and affordable costs. At a starting price of 60 million, the top version spans 1,150 square meters. There are five bedrooms within, seven bathrooms, bespoke furniture and handcrafted chandeliers, a haven worthy of exhibition. The shelter can be improved with a movie theater, a gym, a swimming pool, and even a garden at the client's request. Of course, the shelter is protected from explosions, earthquakes, and radiation, in addition to chemical and biological hazards. The business is happy to say on its website that it was created, designed, and implemented without. The late 19th century construction of Spitbank Fort served as a barrier between British territory and the French Navy. Nevertheless, during World War II, the fort sustained considerable damage. Following multiple renovations, it functioned as a nightclub and a TV show filming location. The fort was then converted into a hotel. You could even rent the entire structure for $6,279 per day. Regrettably, the coronavirus epidemic forced the fort to close and it remained closed. It was put up for sale in 2020. In the meantime, a performance was arranged inside its medieval walls by the band Pendulum. First shocked by the designers of Humana Hut, eight of these remarkably small shelters may be crammed into one shipping container. Each shelter offers up to eight individuals a place to reside, as well as some extra comfort. Notable is the Humana Hut's ability to be connected to other utilities and a water source. However, they can operate independently if necessary. These shelters are easily adaptable to become kitchens, baths, and other facilities, and they come with climate control. During the epidemic, they provided more hospitals and shelters for flood victims in Australia. These six-meter containers serve a wide range of users. They fulfill NATO requirements and are specifically designed for military usage in this variant. They are easily transportable to any site via aircraft or tractor units, and they may be transformed into 35 square meters of area. Smaller things exist as well. Canisters measuring three meters. It is up to the customers to choose the equipment they want. The manufacturer is willing to make adjustments if the default selections aren't suitable for their needs. Customers may better see how their container will look with the help of the 3D model. Forest firefighters are intended to use the second shelter. Because fires are unpredictable, especially when caused by wind, firefighters may run into unforeseen circumstances. They can be seen rehearsing the quick deployment of personal shelters in the video. It's interesting to note that a firefighter detailed their team's actual experience using these shelters in one publication. They did a great job for 45 minutes. Saif Plus is a floating fortification against floods and tsunamis. Its ability to float on the river is highlighted by the designers who created it in reaction to the devastating earthquake that struck Japan in 2011. Every aspect of the shelter's design, such as the inclusion of a wheelchair ramp and four-point safety belts, has been thoughtfully planned. 
Strong protection is provided by the fiber reinforced plastic monocoque, which On the island of Spitsbergen, a remarkable facility was opened in 2008, situated 130 meters below the surface. The Svalbard Global Seed Vault is designed to be useful in the event that essential crop seeds are lost to humanity due to natural or man-made calamities. There are currently 1,214,827 samples from all around the world kept there, and the vault's 1,000 square meter capacity can accommodate millions more. Being situated in an area prone to permafrost, the internal temperature is typically approximately minus 3.5 degrees Celsius. The air can also be cooled to minus 18 degrees Celsius, which is the perfect temperature for storing seeds, thanks to special technologies. Alice prides itself on being the world's best bunker builder. A variety of models for preventing biological threats, riots, and even EMP strikes are available in their portfolio. The bunker can be outfitted with a kitchen, a decontamination room, an armory, and a shower upon request. The outside hatch of the bunker is bulletproof, and the bunker doors successfully keep out gas and water. By default, some shelters come equipped with an emergency exit. The cost per square meter of the Platinum Series shelter is approximately $4,000. Two American professors made an odd record in 2014. Bruce Cantrell and Jessica Fain spent 73 days in an underwater laboratory, more than six meters below. Instead of trying to get away from their kids, that was not their goal. They ran a weekly teaching program about problems pertaining to the oceans. Cantrell and Fain spoke with top experts about these issues in addition to discussing them. Nevertheless, the record was surpassed this year. Joseph Tichuri, another American professor, submerged himself for 93 days. There's a reason he goes by Dr. Deep Sea on the internet. These escape pods are often put through rigorous testing by their manufacturers. Consider tossing a pod over a waterfall that is 91 meters tall. The professionals in the video are doing just that. By the time it was all finished, the capsule had accelerated to 121 km per hour and hit the sea with an overload exceeding 17 G. This particular capsule is designed to hold two people, but the maker also makes larger versions that can hold up to 16 people. And now watch this daredevil strapped in like a race car with five-point safety harnesses as he boldly slides down a steep slope inside the capsule. Tornadoes and other hazards are protected against by the US Safe Room Team. Because these shelters are made of simply assembled panels, they blend in perfectly with your house or place of business. Furthermore, Clients can even assemble them themselves because they are so simple to put together. The basic version of the shelter is constructed from 6.3 mm thick steel and even government organizations like it. Their rivals from Valley Storm Shelters are also progressing concurrently they assert that their storm shelters are the strongest in the world, able to resist winds of up to 90 meters per second during an EF5 category tornado. Buyers should not fear, since the door alone in the standard model weighs an impressive 141 kilogram. For example, you have a few minutes to find shelter during a tornado but unanticipated occurrences like school shootings or earthquakes might take you completely off guard. Because of this, these shelters are able to withstand fire from guns like AR-15s and AK-47s in addition to providing protection against 9.5 magnitude earthquakes and Category 5 hurricanes. These shelters, which are made of prefabricated components, are simply customizable to fit existing locations. They can be positioned in classroom corners in schools, for example, to allow for speedy admission in just 30 seconds.
The book De Boron by Ferdinand Rameau. This modest refuge, named Antoine, honors the bravery of the shepherd and the writer. The hut, which is disguised as a large rock, has a bed, a table, a stool, and a fireplace, in addition to all the necessities. The Verbier 3D Foundation. The driving force behind this production is devoted to advancing modern art and providing assistance to gifted artists. Igloo is up first. It provides exceptional thermal insulation, allowing a temperature differential of up to 20 degrees Celsius between the inside and the outside because polyethylene foam is used in its construction. Safety in the event of a burner knocked over is ensured by the fire-resistant material shielding the interior of the shelter, and it only takes a few seconds to assemble the igloo.